Yo, what's going on all you guys and dudes? We're back here with the MLB, the show 19 Seattle Mariners franchise in the World Series against the defending champion Pittsburgh Pirates, who happens to be my MLB, the show 18 franchise team. You can check that out. I'll put a link in the cards above, but it's Sheffield. It's Musgrove. Drop a like. Get your popcorn ready and let's get it. All right, so any lineup changes to note here, Omar Narvaez will make his first World Series start and one of his first playoff starts, really, because we haven't really started him over Mortero very recently. Adam Frazier will be the DH for the Pittsburgh Pirates, so that'll shift their lineup around here in game number three at home at T-Mobile Park. Seattle faithful are here and waiting to see the very first World Series game in Mariners history. And it's Justice Sheffield who's going to get the start and right away going to get a ground ball out from Joey Wendell for a leadoff out. That's going to bring up the DH Frazier. He's going to get one down the first baseline. That's going to get past Hanniger and that'll go for extra bases. It'll be a one out double for Frazier as Josh Bell going to come up and swing through the high fastball. That pitch has gotten him all series long so far, and that'll get him out. So Alex Lynch Jr. going to come up. He hits a fly ball into left field, and Escalera will glove it. And that'll be it for the top half of the first. Malik Smith gets the first AB, and he is going to fly out to short. That'll bring up Bogarts, who's going to strike out, and he will be put out by the catcher on the pass ball. So that'll be two away here. Full count, and Healy reaches on one, just barely taps it. Cervelli will get it and throw him out at first base. And we go to the second inning for Sheffield. There's a bloop, and that's going to get caught by Rendon. That'll bring up Bonifacio, who has one on a rope in left field, and it is out of here. Jorge Bonifacio, he'd been struggling throughout the series so far, but he has the Pittsburgh Pirates on top with a solo shot in the top of the second. And the Seattle fans are not happy about this. But it's a 1-0 Pirate lead. So now Colin Moran going to come up. And he is going to fly one behind the catcher. And Nervias makes the catch. That will bring up Polanco. Polanco is going to take ball four and an outside slider. He will walk to first base. Now the 3-2 pitch to Cervelli. He is going to hit a fly ball into left. And Escalera is going to catch it for the final out. Here is Crush Davis. He's coming up bottom two. And that is going to get over the wall for a solo shot. So the answer from Crush Davis as he goes right ahead and matches Jorge Bonifacio's solo shot in the top half of the inning. And he's got this stadium rocking again. Anthony Rendon coming up, still none away. And he is going to hit a gamper into the right center field wall. That'll go up against the wall. It will be a double for Rendon. And that'll bring up Hanniger, who's going to strike out, trying to do too much with an 81-mile-an-hour pitch. Here's Steven Base Nakajima. But no good on the base knock that time, as that one's gloved at second base. And there's going to be a hit, a liner into center. That'll be caught as well. So we do get the tying run in the inning, and here's a leadoff base hit for the Pittsburgh Pirates as that could per prove to be some trouble for us as there's a nice strikeout. He gets him looking as he gets Frazier there, and then Josh Bell with the swing and a miss. That'll bring up Alex Lynch Jr. He is going to fly out into foul territory here. Caught by Rendon. Quick inning there. And that'll bring up Escalera to lead off for us. That's a slow roller to short. And that'll be thrown on to Josh Bell for out number one. Malik Smith now up. He's going to hit it over to shortstop. And that is another ground ball out. So now a 2-1 pitch over to Xander Bogarts. He is going to hit a fly ball deep to right, but 
Not enough carry on that one, and that ends the third inning. We go to the fourth. Big strike out of Corey Dickerson there, bringing up the man who hit the home run, but this time he will strike out much like he's been doing most of the series. And here's a slow-rolling ground ball by Colin Moran, and he will get thrown out at first base. Full count up to Healy, and he's going to swing foolishly on an away slider. For out number one in the bottom of the half of the fourth inning. There's Crush Davis lined right at the second baseman for an out. And Anthony Rendon is going to hit a deep fly ball out to right. And that will be caught. Top of the fifth. It's Polanco. This one's going to get down in left field. And that will be another leadoff base hit for this Pirates team. That'll bring up Cervelli. But he's got a slow grounder over to second. Taken care of. And beautifully played by Nakajima for the double play ball. And then this fly ball into left will end the threat for the Pirates. Here's Hanniger. He gets up and he's got one weakly flied out to right for out number one. A full count for base Nakajima who this time is going to gap one left center field gap. Goes to the wall. Easy two bagger. And that will bring up Narvaez, who is going to line one over and be out. That throw is going to get away as just not a good throw from Alex Lynch Jr. there to second. And that is going to allow Nakajima over to third. But Escalera cannot get the run on the board with a weak fly ball in the infield. Bell taking care of it. And the Pirates come up with their third straight leadoff base hit in an inning. That'll bring up Josh Bell here. He's going to get a base hit as well, and that is not something we've seen very often from Josh Bell. He's not had the greatest World Series so far. There's Alex Lynch Jr., and he's going to continue it as three consecutive base hits here against Justice Sheffield. Corey Dickerson going to strike out on the high and inside fastball. Jorge Bonifacio over to Nakajima, and he gets the double play to save Justice Sheffield's inning here. Now bottom six, it's going to be Malik Smith, and he goes the other way, getting it past the third baseman, Colin Moran, and that'll be a leadoff base hit for us, but Bogarts. Really piss poor infield fly. Here's Ryan Healy. He's going to launch one into center. It's going to drop, and Malik Smith will take advantage, getting over to third base. So we've got corners here, and Crush Davis is going to strike out. And that is going to bring up Anthony Rendon. Rendon, a weak little blooper into right. It will drop. Malik Smith will score, and they will throw out Healy at second base but not before the Seattle Mariners have taken the lead 2-1 in this World Series. Colin Moran is going to launch one into right field, but Hanniger tracks it down for out number one. Here's Polanco, and in the same spot he got a base hit last time, he gets another one as he will provide a one-out hit. Here's a hit down the line, and that is going to be a good one. For Cervelli as he is going to attempt to get runners on the corners because Polanco got a little over aggressive but he's thrown out at third and then that'll bring up Wendell who will fly out to Nakajima Richard Rodriguez coming in for his 13th postseason appearance and that is pretty amazing as he gets Mitch Hanniger to strike out for out number one in the bottom of the seventh. That brings up base Nakajima, and he does just that with a classic base hit. Now a 3-1 pitch, and Escalera is going to get walked. So with two outs and two on, it's Malik Smith. He swings through the high fastball. And we are going to bring in Henry Villalobos for his fourth postseason appearance. A 1-9-3 ERA. Hasn't allowed a hit against left-handed pit batting. And this is going to be a ground ball over to third. And that will be thrown on to first for out number one in the top of the eighth. Josh Bell now up. And he will ground over to Steven Nakajima who will throw on to first. And Ryan Healy will glove out number two. And Alex Lynch Jr. going to strike out looking here in the top of the eighth. Big strikeout for Villalobos, and that'll bring on Michael Feliz for the Pittsburgh Pirates. 
his 12th postseason appearance with just north of a 4 ERA, but that helps out right there as he gets Xander Bogart swinging for out number one. Ryan Healy in a broken bat, grounder over to first. Josh Bell steps on first for out number two, and then Crush Davis swinging through. An off-speed pitch for out number three. That brings on Ken Giles. If he can pitch a good inning here, he will take home his sixth save of the postseason here in the top of the ninth. There's a base knock, and that is Corey Dickerson. He will be getting on first base with a leadoff hit. That'll bring up Bonifacio. He's going to try the bunt. We go for Dickerson at second, and we get him for out number one. So that'll leave Bonifacio on first for Colin Moran, who is going to hit a weak fly ball, and Rendon makes the travel for it. Out number two, and look at this. Gregory Polanco going to strike out on the low sinker, and Ken Giles has done it. His sixth postseason save, and Justice Sheffield pitching an absolute gem here at home in game number three of the World Series, and that's going to give us a 3-0 series lead. Sheffield goes seven strong, gives up nine hits, but six strikeouts, one earned run, one walk. Joe Musgrove gets the loss on his six innings pitch, two earned runs, six hits given up, four strikeouts. So Musgrove didn't pitch all that bad, but two runs was one too many in this very close ball game. And now, if you guys remember or don't remember, Every single game in this World Series so far has been decided by one run. So exactly one run in each game the Mariners have won by. And they have a 3-0 series lead. So this is pretty incredible what the Mariners are able to do here in these tight pitching matchups. And it has been absolutely fun to watch. And we are going to sit here and watch game number four as well as Caleb Boyd, the miniseries star of the Pittsburgh Pirate Pirates, with a 1-1 one one record and a 3.18 ERA, will go against our supposed ace in Derek Rodriguez, who has not pitched very well this postseason. Fernando Mortero will take his starting spot at catcher back, and the lineup moves around just a little bit here in this game. The interesting thing as well is that the Pirates have moved Bonifacio and Polanco with a little bit of switch. And there you go. There's your reminder. One run has decided every game. Here's Derek Rodriguez on the mound and right away going to get the ground ball out of Joey Wendell. And that will bring up Frazier, the DH, yet again. And another nice play at first base by Ryan Healy. Here's Josh Bell. Bouncer over to shortstop is thrown on to Healy for out number three. The one, two, three inning. Here's Malik Smith, and he will ground one over to short. That'll be out number one. Base Nakajima up now. He's going to pull that one over to first base, and Josh Bell has that one for out number two. Xander Bogarts up the middle, and that will get through for the first base hit of this game number four. And it's a two-out hit. Two-out rally, maybe? Oof, another broken bat for Ryan Healy. And good job by Caleb Boyd to cover for the final out. Into the second, and Alex Lynch Jr. going to take the curveball low and outside for a strikeout. Here's another strikeout as Corey Dickerson swings through the high, high heat. And then, finally, it is going to be a third out right there for Polanco into left field bottom half of the second it is crush davis with a short little dink and that will be thrown on to first for out number one rendon comes up and he lifts one into center field and that will drop for a base hit so rendon on first for mitch hanniger and a broken bat that'll get him out but rendon never runs so he will be out for a unconventional weird double play as Rodriguez is going to strike out Bonifacio looking to open up the top half of the third. He gets another strikeout this time of Cervelli swinging and Joey Wendell is going to weakly hit one into left but weak enough to be a bloop single. So Joey Wendell is on base here in the third. 
There's a hit, and that is a straight-up hit by Adam Frazier. That's going to go to the wall. It's going to be extra bases. As a matter of fact, Joey Wendell is coming to the plate, and he will score from first for the first run of the ball game. That brings up Bell. Bell gets a hit as well. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it is also going to bring in a run as in comes Adam Frazier. And it's 2-0 Pittsburgh. And Alex Lynch will get walked here. So two on, two away. And Corey Dickerson will fly out into left field. But damage was done. It's 2 to nothing. Here's Mortero. He launches one into center field. That will be caught for out number one. Here's Alfredo Escalera, and he's going to hit one into the gap. The right center field gap that will get to the wall, and Escalera has himself a stand-up double with one away. That brings up Malik Smith. He dribbles one on to shortstop. They will throw him out at first base. And Steven Nakajima trying too hard there on the away pitch, and that'll be out number three. Into the fourth, it's Polanco. Hard hit grounder at... Short where Rendon is on the shift, and they won't get him. So there's a base hit right away. This is going to be hit into center field, and Colin Moran will be caught out in center field for out number one. That'll bring up Bonifacio, who cannot keep up with the high heat. And Rodriguez has another strikeout. Here's a hit away from the shift, and that'll be a base hit for Cervelli. That'll put two on with two away for Wendell, who is going to just get too much air and into foul territory. That's a pop out. So now we go to the bottom of the inning, and it's Bogarts. He's going to start off with a base hit into right field. That one just lands, and that will be one on for Healy, who will strike out on the slider away. He has not been seeing the ball very well today. That brings up Crush Davis, who gets a base hit into right field. And that'll leave two on with one away for Anthony Rendon, who dribbles one on to second base. They will do the fielder's choice there as they can't get the double play. And that brings up Hanniger, who's going to lift one into center. And that will be tracked down and caught out there by Polanco. Great defense by him. So Rodriguez back to work. He gives up a leadoff base hit as Healy could not make the play. So Josh Bell going to come up. He is going to fly out into foul territory on the third base side. That brings up Lynch Jr., and that is a straight-up great piece of hitting as that one's going to get down and left, and that will allow a double here. So now Corey Dickerson will strike out looking. No swing from him. Bringing up Polanco, who does swing on the low and in cutter. And Rodriguez really striking out some batters today. Here's Mortero, and he is going to ground over to short. He will get thrown out at first base for out number one. Now it's Escalera, and he lifts one into center field. It drops in front of Polanco for a base hit. And we got one on with one away. It's Malik Smith. He's going to lift one out into left, and that is going to get caught out there by Corey Dickerson for out number two. But Steven Base Nakajima is going to put one down right in front of Dickerson. And it's going to be two on, two away. Bogarts with a dribbler over to Caleb Boyd, and he will get him for the final out of the fifth. We move into the sixth. That one bouncing up the middle, and that will get away for a base hit right through the center of the infield. And that'll be the end of Derek Rodriguez's night as Jamie Castilla is going to come in for his fifth postseason appearance. He hasn't pitched very well in those appearances, but he gets a strikeout here on the outside slider to Bonifacio. And then he gets Cervelli on an inside slider. He will stand and look as well. These window shoppers are killing Pittsburgh. And Joey Wendell isn't going to be one as he will get a base hit into center field. That'll put two on with two away for Frazier, who has one dribbled over to Nakajima for the final out. So now bottom of the sixth, it's Healy. He's going to hit a weak little bloop, and that will drop into right field. That brings up Crush Davis, who absolutely drills one into center field and ties this ball game in the bottom of the sixth inning. 
And the Mariners needed a big hit, and Crush Davis provided it. Absolutely huge for the offseason free agent signing who nobody wanted to pick up. And we gave him a one-year deal, and here he is, just getting it done. So Rendon comes up now, and he tries to get one out into right center, but that will be caught by the second baseman. Here's Hanniger. He's going to fly out into left field, and that'll put two away. For Mortero, who's going to dribble one onto short again. He did that his last time up, and that'll get dug out by Josh Bell for the third out. Josh Bell will then draw a walk, a leadoff walk on Jamie Castilla. We'll bring up Lynch Jr., who's going to fly out into center field. So one on, one away in the top of the seventh. It's Dickerson. He's got a dribbler over to second. Thrown to second. Thrown to first. And the double play complete by the Mariners. Jake Barrett going to come in to pitch for the Pirates. His 10th postseason appearance with a 4-7 ERA. He's got five total strikeouts in those appearances. As here comes Escalera. He's going to get the base hit into right center field. He is going to try for two. The throw is off, and he's in there with a sliding double. Malik Smith now trying. He's going to get thrown out as he grounds out to second base. But he does move over Escalera for a chance here by Nakajima, who is going to fly out and then gun down at the plate is Escalera. Just not quick enough. Cervelli, nice tag. Here's Polanco to lead off the top of the eighth. He's going to fly out into left field. Escalera with the grab. Colin Moran is going to pop out. Foul territory third baseline and Anthony Rendon. Going to track it down and make the play. Here's Bonifacio. That's a shallow fly ball, and that is going to get tracked down by Mitch Hanniger. So an easy 1-2-3 inning there. Here comes Xander Bogarts. He's got one in the that's going to fall down in center field. He's going to try for two. The throw is off again, and a double. Here's Ryan Healy. He's going to hit one out into center field. That's going to get caught. Bogarts is going to try for third here. The relay is not in time, and Bogarts on third with one away. And Crush Davis gets it past the shortstop. Alex Lynch Jr. can't make the play. Crush Davis has his third RBI of the day, and it gives the Mariners a lead. Richard Rodriguez is going to come in now, and he is going to get a base hit hit on him. By Anthony Rendon. That puts two on with only one away. Mariners with a chance to break this open. And Hanniger going to swing on the away pitch. He is going to go down on strikes. That is going to bring up Mortero. He goes down on a low slider. And Richard Rodriguez comes in and gets two strikeouts. Does give up a base hit, but it was huge. Ken Giles is going to come in here in the top of the ninth to try to win this World Series. And he gets a strikeout right away of Francisco Cervelli. That's going to bring up Joey Wendell, who's going to hit a base hit past Nakajima into center field, and that's a base hit with one away. That now brings up Frazier, who strikes out on a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. And two away in this World Series. The 1-2 pitch to Josh Bell is hit in the air. Hanniger's under it. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Your Seattle Mariners are World Series champions. They have taken down the defending World Series champion Pittsburgh Pirates in a four-game sweep. They get it done in front of the home fans here in Seattle at T-Mobile Park. With a 3-2 victory, they have won every single game in this series by one run. And they've won four in a row in this series. There you go. A four-game sweep by a total of four runs. And the Seattle Mariners are your 2021 World Series champions. A lot of members of this team. A lot of memories on this team. A lot of young guys. A lot of veterans. Crush Davis was huge in this series. Guys like Keith Lavette provided some big innings when needed. 
And the starting pitching was pretty darn good, I must say. Just as Sheffield, Derek Rodriguez was good today where he hadn't been in past games. Jamie Castilla picks up three innings where he only allows one hit, gets two strikeouts. That was huge. He picks up the win today. Crush Davis is the player of the game. Obviously, at a home run, got all three RBIs, basically won the game by himself on offense. Ken Giles picks up his seventh postseason save. He was absolutely huge. I think he must be re-signed. And you can see here for Pittsburgh, the top of the order was getting it done, and then it was kind of spotty from there on. Caleb Boyd didn't pitch a bad game as a starter for them, but again, just giving up too many runs where he was getting some support early on, and he gave it all away in that sixth inning. Rodriguez, one of his better outings in the postseason, was still not great. But here you can see the postseason MVP for the National League, Alex Lynch Jr., was huge for the Pittsburgh Pirates in getting them back to a World Series. It was Josh Bell last year. Ryan Healy was huge for us, 393, four homers and 11 ribbies in this postseason. So he gets the postseason MVP for the American League. But you can see these last couple of games here, Ryan Healy wasn't doing anything. Anthony Rendon is the World Series MVP batting 500, but he had no home runs and only two RBIs. Guys, I want to know in the comments section below who you thought should have been World Series MVP because I could pick out a couple of names that I thought were a little bit better than Rendon in this series, namely Crush Davis and um, maybe even Escalera. There were definitely some guys that could have made this. So who do you guys think should have had it? Look at Crush Davis. Probably should have been postseason MVP. Bat at 370, six homers, 11 ribbies. Huge postseason by him. Uh, absolutely huge. Escalera for a little guy to do what he did. 435, two homers and three RBIs for Escalera. That's absolutely big. I mean, really. The guy was not playing on the Major League roster for most of the season. So, gotta love it. Gotta love what he was doing. Some of these pitchers, really huge. Just a magical, magical year. I'm glad you guys were along for the ride. It has been absolutely great. And we're not going to stop there. We're going to keep going with this series. I'm having too much fun with it. I hope you guys are as well. There it is, a four-game sweep of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Drop a like for that. Let me see some hype in the comments section below. There will be an off-season stream, so keep a lookout for when I do that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Franchise content all day, every day on Franchise Gaming. You're a pretty little star boy.